Well, more cold and more wind, but it's not as strong. So for our Friday, cold, breezy, but definitely not as windy as our Thursday. We'll wake up to about 36. These temperatures are very close to normal. It'll be cloudy, breezy. So you factor in this little wind that could be gusting around 20 miles per hour and it gets you down to around 29 to 30 degrees for the wind chill. These are the wind chill temperatures in the morning. So still wind chill, still a chilly start, very near normal, but we're really not too accustomed to that. Haven't had much of that yet, but it's still going to be a pretty chilly day, mostly cloudy and about 46 degrees at 3 o'clock. Gusts to around 20 miles an hour. Definitely not as strong winds as what we had on Thursday, but a noticeable breeze for sure. Temperatures drop down to around 41 by 7 p.m. Those clouds will start to break up late in the day and actually clear out in the evening. So we'll have a little more sunshine for Saturday, which looks warmer too. 53 for the high. Now it's warmer in the afternoon, but it's actually a pretty chilly start. Low around 34 degrees, but lighter winds. So it's not as windy at all on Saturday. Sunday, not too windy either and warmer. 64 for the high, mostly cloudy. There's a 20% chance for a few showers Sunday night into early Monday. So it's a slim chance, but still might see a little rain Sunday night into Monday. Monday still uh, uh, near normal, around 56 degrees for the high, but it gets colder next week in time for Thanksgiving, which is going to be chilly. And right now we have a 40% chance for rain. Let's keep an eye on the forecast. Models have not been consistent with this, so uh, we'll have to keep an eye if the rain chances go up, down, and especially if temperatures get a little colder, if we introduce any snow into the forecast. Again, models have not been consistent, but at this time it still looks like a decent chance for some rain showers Wednesday into Thursday for Thanksgiving.